I've never heard of an NBA team suing another NBA team. It just hasn't happened. But for the New York Knicks to say to the Toronto Raptors, you've done something so wrong, so illegal, we're willing to take you to court? The allegations are stunning. An employee of the New York Knicks stealing trade secrets for the Raptors. That's new. That's unprecedented. And I've got the lawsuit right here. Now, spoiler alert, this may not actually go to court, and I'll explain why in a moment, but let's go through all the salacious details together and dive deep into the shrouded world of trade secrets, sensitive information, and high stakes competitive edges. The Knicks alleged that their former video analytics and player development assistant took over 3,000 files from a secure server in the days before he began working for the Raptors. So the Knicks are alleging that one of their employees, Ike Azotem, who played college ball, even played pro for a while, they're alleging that he stole proprietary confidential team information. Player scouting reports, research, play diagrams, training material, video footage, and that he did it because he was jumping ship to the Raptors and they asked him to do it, that he was a mole. The Knicks say this was computer fraud, a violation of the Trade Secrets Act, breach of contract, unfair competition, and they're suing the Raptors organization top to bottom. Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, which owns the Toronto Raptors. Darko Ryakovich, the head coach of the Raptors. Noah Lewis, the player development coach. Ike Azatam, and 10 John Doe's. So basically, the Knicks have no idea who they are, but believe that 10 other people in the Raptors organization played a role. And I don't know how they know this. You know, maybe they have 10 IP addresses with no names attached. I don't know. The lawsuit doesn't say. I think a couple things indicate that the Knicks think it's pretty serious. One, uh, filing a lawsuit in federal court and, and making allegations uh, that are pretty detailed. So let's be clear. This is all just what's written in the lawsuit, right? If it actually goes to trial, which again, it may not, just saying. But if it does, the Knicks will have to actually prove these allegations in court. But their side of the story starts with Ike Azatam, just a guy who worked in the New York Knicks video department. Basically, he produced video footage of players, prospects, game prep for team coaching staff to go through. He seemed to do pretty well. He's promoted within a year. But around June of this year, according to the lawsuit, he gets approached by the Raptors. They want to poach him. Now, at around the same time, the Raps also hire a brand new head coach, Darko Ryakovich. Coach Darko, welcome, man. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. He was well received, almost a decade of NBA experience, but none as an NBA head coach. That lack of experience is important because according to the Knicks, apparently given his non-traditional path to his head coaching job, defendant Ryakovich did not have his own organizational structure and coaching method, so he chose to exploit the Knicks methods. About a month or so later, the lawsuit alleges Azutan began stealing confidential team information from the Knicks and sending it directly to the Raptors organization. Now, if there was ever a smoking gun in this kind of corporate theft case, the Knicks seem to think that they've got one. They actually included quite a lot of, of, of evidence that they seem to have here. Um, so, but I would never say it's a, it's a slam dunk. Um, at, at the pleading stage when I haven't seen the, the response um, and you haven't seen if these facts are going to bear out. But certainly, um, you know, if if these assertions are correct. So it seems like they've they've pled a pretty good case on the liability side. So get this. They say on August 11th, Ike Azatan used his New York Knicks email address. OK, so his official team email address, which I can only assume is monitored and sent an email with the subject heading forward Indiana game 82. And he sent it to his brand new official Toronto Raptors email address. So this was not the most sophisticated corporate theft I've ever seen, but the data was sensitive. An advanced scouting report of a rival team, 
comprehensive diagrams, even a time-stamped analysis of that team's play calls from a specific game. And that same day, another email, subject heading Forward Denver Advanced Scout Report, and the contents just as top secret as before, but for a different rival team. Player tendencies, strategy analysis, play diagrams, and another time-stamped play call spreadsheet. The main claim here is a trade secret misappropriation, right? Just taking trade secrets claim. And then alongside of that, they, they've also said things like unfair competition, unjust enrichment, other tort claims. And the lawsuit doesn't even really stop there. The Knicks say Azotem also stole video by sending the Raptors organization the login information to a third party site that the Knicks used to keep all of their game footage. The Raptors, they say, would have had access to everything. Edited clips, commentary, analysis, statistics. They even say Azatam sent them video that the Knicks took of Raptors players. 3,358 individual videos sorted by basketball position and separated into videos of passes and videos of shots. And that the file share site was accessed more than 2,000 times by Raptors defendants. You know, if the Raptors coach was involved and and if, in fact, uh, you know, this employee, you know, took all these materials, and at least on the liability side, um, it seems like they've they've pled out a, a trade secret claim and some other claims that usually go with it, like unfair competition and conversion, um, you know, com computer, you know, fraud abuse act, etc. Uh, those usually, you know, kind of rise and fall with the trade secrets breach of contract. Now, this is a good time to point out that the Raptors and their owners have responded to the lawsuit. They point out their intention to conduct an internal investigation and to fully cooperate. But at the same time, the company, and just to be clear, they're referring to the Raptors parent company here. The company strongly denies any involvement in the matters alleged. Yeah, I thought that was kind of an interesting statement, those two, those two things side by side in a press statement. Legally, uh, you know, they have 21 days to answer the complaint. We'll see what the response is, uh, whether they answer the complaint or move to dismiss. So at the end of the lawsuit, the Knicks outline what they want out of all of this. Compensation for the material harm and losses their organization was alleged to have suffered from such a theft. They want punitive damages to deter the Raptors or any NBA team from doing something like this in the future and disgorgement damages, which I'll let the legal expert explain. So disgorgement is just another word of saying that all the profits that you got, um, you know, we take them from your pocket and put them in our pocket. So it can be a pretty big remedy in normal cases. But here's the thing. There are only a very small handful of cases where a North American pro sports team has sued another. And in every case I could find, the matter was settled out of court meaning the case never goes to trial. All those super secret sensitive details never get out in public. We're kind of just left wondering who ultimately admitted to what and how much money was paid out, if any. When I think about other disputes or other kind of scandals that have happened in sports, I think about, you know, Spygate, you know, the Patriots spying on the Jets practice in the NFL, or think about, I think the most, you know, the Astros, you know, banging on the garbage cans to, to signal. Um, and, you know, the Yankees didn't sue the Astros for like unfair competition because they lost that series. They, you know, a bunch of people went to the league and complained and they investigated. It makes sense. No NBA team wants a protracted legal fight. And this isn't exactly a good look for the NBA itself either. But that it got to the point of a lawsuit, a very public accusation that the Raptors somehow cheated, if not in law, then in spirit. That tells us a lot about the high stakes, the intense rivalries, and just how far a person or team might go to get ahead.